Hi everyone, this is Elena Lemetric. This is our first Sunday sauce, and this is my new friend, Dee Dee Roya, who is from Miami Beach, but originally from Boston, correct? Correct. So, first of all, very sexy, very cute. I'm not even going to tell you her age. She'll tell you that when she meets you. But we're going to talk a little bit. So, let me ask you a question. What is the thing you like most about being Italian? What I love about being Italian is that we've contributed so much to the world as far as art, culture, food, music, fashion, cars. I'm very proud of that. Mm -hmm. I think if it weren't for Italians, people would still be eating with, it, with their hands. You're right. And uh, we contributed everything, even in, in, in uh, ballet. Ballet was decided, was uh, originated by a man by the name of Cicchetti. He brought it to France, which now, that's why all the terms are in French. So we cover so many cross cultures. So I'm very proud of that. What do you think is one of the biggest struggles that Italian women have? Well, we tend to rule the roost. We do rule the home. Uh, because the home is very important to us. You know, we're very nurturing. We like to feed our people, our family. We're very protective. And sometimes that gets a little bit, um, you know, tense with men who also want to rule the house that are not Italian. Interesting. Interesting. Your takeaway as far as sauce on Sunday is what? Well, I think it's a great way to unite other Italian women, to bring them together, to try to reinvigorate the Italian culture, let yep. them know what, what being Italian means. Right. You know, they are saying, you know, I'm Italian, and everybody else who just wants to be Italian, that goes a long way. Italian women are looked at as always Sexy, a little exotic, you know, Gina Lola Brigida. So I'm not even going to tell you how old she is, <laughs> but I am telling you, she looks damn good for her age. I'm just saying. I'm well preserved. Yes, she is well preserved. <laughs> um, and she's on the uh, on the lookout for another husband. Yes, so anybody out there is looking. <laughs> you never know. You never know. So if you know of somebody that needs a hookup, Dee Dee is available, Hi. right? I'm a great cook. There you go. Uh -huh. um, at this stage in your life, what's important to you? Well, naturally you want your good health. You know, that's one thing that's just a given. You know, I, I would like to live long and healthy. No one wants to be a burden, which I don't want to be a burden on my children. I do want a partner again. I had a, I had a fun husband, someone who was just spontaneous. But the problem is, is finding a man in my age group are usually either not healthy, they have a lot of issues, or they just really want another mommy. I want, a, I want a playmate. I want a playmate. Not a, I don't want a, another child, you know, with someone who has to be taken care of. So I tend to date men 15 to 20 years younger than me. Wow. Yeah, I, Do I, you tell them how old you are? Well, I sometimes fib a little bit because I don't. I think if I tell them initially, they may get scared away. Okay. Like someone's very interested in me right now who's 52. Okay. And he's making designs on me, I can tell. Every time I see him, I can just tell. You can tell. Right, right, right. right, right. You can tell. Right. And he has no idea how old I am. Wow. And so uh, people think, you know, I'm in my 50s. So you want me to tell him now? Go ahead. <laughs> I will be 76 in July. Okay. <laughs> is she rocking or what? But don't you think a lot of that, too, is mentally and physically? Well, people say to me, what's your secret? I think sense of humor yeah. is so important because sense of humor actually get those endorphins going. Mm -hmm. And when you're unhappy and you're miserable, it shows in your face. Yeah. When you know when you're happy, and I'm a very happy person. I don't talk talk about problems because I don't have any problems. My problems are infinitesimal to compare to other people. Right. I right. have beautiful children. I've had my ups and downs. Listen, we all have our storms. Yeah. Yeah. But first of all, I can get through them and say, hey, this too will pass. And that's how I keep my attitude, my youth. I love youth. I don't mind an older man, providing he just doesn't act it. Yeah. That's what I'm looking for, someone who is who's full of life. You know. And I am now going to take the lead and say, we invite you. The next Sunday sauce is going to be in September. And definitely we invite you. We hope that the next one will have more of us here and we will continue to enjoy sauce on Sunday. Ciao.